Hey guys, King of Charmander here. Alright, so the Catch Cup. As much as I don't like it as much as you do, this cup is a really bad idea. And there's ways... Are th you can get an Azumarill in the wild, or you can find a Meryl in the wild, or a Nest, because they used to nest. And then you can use that Meryl or that Azumarill, power it up, and use it for the Catch Cup. I'm not going to go too into the GoHub analysis. You know this thing is a monster. Water and Fairy. Now, this thing is extremely powerful. It maxes out at level 40 with good IVs. And it's just an absolute monster. You've seen it everywhere since the preseason. Azumarill has never seen oppression. It has consistently been one of the most powerful Great League mods in existence. And that doesn't really change for the Catch Cup. Even though it is a limited meta... Like you'll see on the rankings, the custom rankings, that having mythicals like Deoxys Defense View and everything changes Great League a lot. However, that also means that things there's also things that do check Azumarill and things that don't. Now, unless you're willing to build like things like a Meganium, a Frenzy Plant Meganium, or things that require Elite TMs, which are really expensive, not a lot of things are going to challenge. Azumarill safe switching ability in the catch cup. There's a lot of good things in the catch cup, but Azumarill is still really good. Like I said, I'm not going to cover it much. Like electric type, it does, it's weak to grass, electric, poison. Now, like I mentioned before, unless you're willing to like pop in, you're not going to see a lot of frizzy plants out there. You can probably get an Alolan Raichu with v Volt Switch to try to take it out. And then you might be able to find a Weedle or something like that so that you can Poison Sting it. That's if you're willing to invest in these Pokemon. You resist Dragon Breath, Dark, Bug, Fighting, Fire, Ice, and Water. There's a lot of things Azumarill resists in the meta. And along with that, it also is very powerful against things like Flyers. Fighters don't do well against it unless it's like a Toxicroak. And just in general, as a generalist and overall power, Azumarill is extremely strong for the Catch Cup. Very versatile as well. You have the option of Ice Beam, Play Rough, or Hydro Pump. Bubbles, it's standard fast moveset, but like still, even with Bubble, it's extre like with Bubble, it's extremely powerful. Great coverage. Maxes out at level 40. Now, the thing is, I know there are players out there that are crazy enough to come out and power up a level 40 Azumarill for whatever purposes. They'll find a wild one, then catch it. Does it give you a huge advantage? We're about to find out. Alright, here's the pvpoke.com custom rankings. Alright, so you can customize rankings to where you can subtract species, types, etc. Here I have the mythicals that are banned for the catch cup. And then I plugged it into the simulator. And then this is what you will get. As you see right here, I already have it. Here's the advanced filter. This is the one shield. As you see in the one shield scenario, this is pretty much the master list of what the catch is going to be like. As you see, it does change the meta when you don't allow mythicals. I also subtracted legendaries in here too, just because you're not going to find Reggie Steels flying around everywhere. Chrysalias or other things, unless you really saved your Chrysalia from way back in the day and used it, stacked it up on your research, and you didn't actually catch it to this day. Yes, that's possible. However, if you are really willing to power it up, that's up to you. So this is the re this is the re like real like catch cup meta. When you subtract all those legendaries, well, actually, I don't even need to subtract legendaries. All I have to do is take out the mythicals because, as you see right here, in the top ten, there's not a single legendary in sight or mythical. It's dominated in the one shield by pr primarily fighters because there's not fighters. Galarian Stumpfist is also a beast. You have AWAC in here if you're able to find an AWAC. And as you see, Wigglytuff, Charmers, etc. It's extremely... If you manage to find your Cresselia, which is entirely possible. It's entirely possible that someone saved their Cresselia up to this point and predicted the Catch Cup would come. To this day, hasn't crossed their Cresselia. And then poof, you get... You get 
these monsters. As you see, Azumarill, if we look at Azumarill, Azumarill ranks at number 33 in the One Shield. Takes down a lot of things in the meta. Beats Scrafty, Altaria, Zwilus, basically all the dragons. You do lose against Galarian Stunfisk. That's if you're not rocking Hydro Pump. However, in this meta, you won't really need... Like, in this meta, I can pretty much tell you probably want Hydro Pump. Ice Beam is enough to do a lot against general damage because you're taking on Fighters, Altaria, etc. Play Rough isn't a bad idea. However, Ice Beam will cover what you... Ice Beam is just such great coverage, and it's pretty much... That and Hydro Pump are just extremely powerful. But as you see, Azu doesn't really go anywhere. It's very, it's still in like the top 40, top 50 in this meta. Now that's the 1 Shield. Here's the 2 Shield. In the 2 Shield, if we get the ranking here, we simulate the... We fire up the signature. It takes a little bit to update the rankings. Not too long, but as you see here, Azu is still extremely powerful. Azu checks a lot of the meta top meta for catch up especially if you have that hydro pup new set now obviously the con of an azumarill is that one you have to find in a while that's one of the things two you have to really look into your soul and ask yourself do i really want to power up an azumarill for great league because remember it goes all the way up to level 40 and it's just it takes oh man it's a lot of that's a lot of resources just to put it in perspective, if you power up a level 20 Azumarill up to level 40, it costs you over 240, about, I think it's 248,000 Stardust or more. So it's extremely expensive to power up an Azumarill. That doesn't even include the second move you have to give it if you want it to be viable for catch-up. As you see here in the two-shield scenario, it this is what you get. Charmers obviously run this town. As you see here, also dragons. What does well against all these? Azumarill. As you see, Azu, if we put in the placement, Azu in the two-shield ranks at number 45 so it's still in the top 50 as you see here it does lose the two shield pretty handily however against things like scrafty altarius wireless dragonair etc you're still doing pretty well and wigglytuff will have to expend a lot of shields or play really risky even if you do put the charmers against it so if you do that that's the two shield and we already saw the one shield as you see azu ranks at number 34 very strong as a lead even as a switch it beats a lot of the top meta especially if you if you're able to break your opponent's shields, etc. Azu's still very strong. Don't let the number 45 fool you. In a lot of the top 40, like, Azu beats a lot of what's on the top. That's why it's so good. Of course, you could still beat Azumarill. Azumarill is still beatable. However, it does hold... It doesn't hold its number one oppression, but it's still really good. And like I told you, there's going to be that one guy or girl or, like, more... That handful of... If uh, this is obviously the spoofer cut. Uh, I can see a spoofer getting a level 35 Ozzy or a level 30 Azumarill and then using it for the catch cup. That's entirely possible. In the closer, if you find Azumarill and search for it after we put the rankings, Ozzy ranks at number 11. Extremely oppressive. Loses to Swampert, Skarmory, Registeel, Cresselia, Frostless. Minus Registeel and Cresselia, assuming that those aren't there. You're only good against Frostless and... Only Frostless, Skarmory, and even Shadow Swampert. Shadow Swampert has to have an Elite TM. So if we look at the actual rankings from what I'm seeing right now, you are only... Skarmory and Frostless are your two Kryptonites. But as you see here, what takes out Azu... What beats out Azu in the closer? Electivire, Surfetched. Azu beats 2, 3, 4. We're not going to look at Regis. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It basically... It beats like to, like most of the top 10 like most of the top 10 it beats most of these picks except for shadow electrovire shadow electrovire is the number one closer i if you want to power up your great league one shadow electrovire looks pretty beast in this meta however as you see here azu's in that name of mentions because azu is just that good number 11 as a closer therefore azumarill still cements its place as one of the most powerful picks in all of an open great league format even when you take out mythicals and, leg and some legendaries that you can't catch. Alrighty, here's my favorite part of the analysis. The Matrix. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put all the movesets available for Azumarill. Just so you could see all of it. I can ex... You can... Ex I... Yeah, you're going to see this. There, I can foresee players or spoofers being crazy enough to power one up. You know why? Because you can get this thing anywhere. So here's the top 40 or top 39 in the catch cup. I did. I put. I put that meta, the custom meta I told you about, and I and put it into this. And this is all of the Pokemon. This is the top 40 meta right here, including Azumarill itself. 
So here we have all three movesets. Here's the two shield. And as you see, Azumarill just destroys everything. The Ice Beam Play Rough matchup dot dish like just dish it. Look at these. Look at those ratings. Like, obviously, Azumarill is nothing to balk about in to begin with, but as you see here. He beats Crafty, G Fisk, Altaria, Alola, Marowak. This is the top 10, by the way. So you absolutely eviscerate the top 10. I don't know. Does Primate really beat you with Night Slash? Or is this bait? I think this is bait dependent. With Yeah, this is definitely bait dependent. Because for Primate, if you don't... if Because with Primate, you have to CC. So if you just... If you even eat one of the... If you don't... If you don't fall for the bait... Then Azumar, see if you don't fall for the bait, Azumarill wins. So you have to you have to bait against Azumarill with Primate. You beat Zwilus pretty handily. I don't. I wouldn't worry about Swampert Shadow Swampert because unless you're crazy enough to Elite TM a Shadow Swampert to have Hydro Cannon, and you can't even TM away Frustration, so I wouldn't worry about this matchup. Unless, like I said, someone's that crazy, so don't worry about this. You beat Monchamp with the uh, Ice Beam player variation. You don't beat it with this. However, Monchamp is bait dependent. So if Monchamp does debate you, it wins. If you you can ha you if you take one of the uh, if you don't shield, if you shield, or if you don't shield this, if you shield the earthquake, see, if you shield the earthquake. I mean the rock slide. Oh well, it still wins. Holy crud! Okay, never mind. What if you don't? Okay, don't shield, don't shield, don't shield, don't shield. Okay, it gets the cross drop off. So you shield this, you shield... Okay, so it looks like Machop could still go to town against an Ice Beam Azu. With Cross Chop. Yeah, looks like looks like you could still go to town. So Machop in a 2s can win. What if you take away the 2 shield? So just, yeah. So only in the 2 shield. Just because of Machop's oppressive, like... Yeah. So Machop wins in... Unless it's a play rough. If it's play rough, you lose. So Machop wins in... Yeah, if it's play rough, you lose. So... Ice Beam Play Rough looks interesting. Wait, why does Ice Beam Play Rough win? Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Give me one second, guys. Oh, it's because with Ice Beam Play Rough, you can bait the shields and then Ice Beam, and then Play Rough in the end to KO the Machamp. Got it. So Ice Beam Play Rough does... Ice Beam Play Rough rocks this world. Beat Dragonair, you beat Mo Medicham. Again, you don't have to worry about Swampert unless someone is crazy enough to Hydro Cannon, like TM Hydro Cannon. In other words, you do, be you do beat it with Ice Beam... With Ice Beam Hydro Pump. As you see here, the Play Rough gives you that ability to beat the two shield. I guess that's why the Play Rough Ice Beam variation is hailed. Is because you're able to beat the, the fighters with it. Or like convincingly. You still beat other fighters. It just Machamp Rex your soul. That's pretty much it. You lose against Surfetched in the two shield. Because of Leaf Blade. Surfetch does outpace you with a Leaf Blade. As you see here. Which is kind of... Um, Surfetch is another Pokemon. I don't foresee people powering up. It's very hard to... Eat. I don't think you can find a Great League Surfetched. I think it's going... You have to find one in the wild. And I don't foresee an event happening. Unless an event does... Some crazy event does happen. It does win the two shield just because it's going straight leap late. And it wins CMP too. So that's the only thing. I wouldn't worry too much about, to, about Surfetch. Skarmory is the interesting matchup here. Skarmory, I can totally see that coming out for the Catch Cup. Because you can totally catch... You can catch it for GBL rewards. So you do lose a two shield against Skarmory. Finally, we see something that threatens... You lose against Whimsicott, which I don't know. You might see this thing. Yeah, you might see Whimsicott. Yeah, you might. I, I, I don't know, but if someone can catch this thing, you likely will see it. As you see here, you likely will see it in this meta. You beat Snowy Castworm, Clefable. Charmers are going to be plentiful in this meta, so just the Charmers are the only things that really do oppress you. That and Shadow Victory Bell. I hate to say that. That in Shadow Victory Bell. So you beat... Yeah, that in Shadow Victory Bell. You'll beat Umbreon if someone has an Umbreon and they're willing to TM it to Last Resort. Now you beat the Azu Mirror if you get high, if you have Play Rough. Yeah, Azu... Well, you do need Play Rough. If you want to win the Mirror, you have to have Play Rough. Otherwise, Ice Beam and Hydro Pump, this Azu does wall you. Well, not completely wall you, but like, you know, Hydro Pump... You, uh, it takes a lot to, for you to get to Hydro Pump. You beat Dragonite, you beat Mandibuzz, you beat Wishcash. And you lose against things like Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's an interesting pick because you can totally find Ferrothorns in this meta. But it's going to be rare. Um, And I'd say one of the most notable things is probably Shadow Victory Bell. Shadow Victory, you can catch, I think you can catch a Shadow Bell. Well, 
I'm actually not entirely sure. If by some godforsaken reason that you are able to catch a Shadow Victory Ball for the catch-up and use it for this, which I'm pretty sure you can, it absolutely tears through everything in the two shields. So catch, yeah, it tears through a lot. So just be very careful in the two shield. As you see, Ozu is a monster in the two shield. So as a safe switch, I can totally see it being used. Or even as a lead. All right, that's a two shield, so we're gonna move it to the one shield. We click battle, and look, it, it, if you take it to the ones, look how destructive Azumarill is. The Hydro Pump variation obviously beats G Stunfisk, if you see here. Yes, you can get a G Stunfisk. I think you can only hatch it from GBL rewards. Or not, you can hatch it from, I think, I think a 7k egg. So Galar and Stunfisk can be hatched for this meta, and it can be used. As you see here, Azu destroys a ton of picks. I don't foresee Obama Snows being... Unless you find, like, a random snow runt rocking around, I don't foresee an Obama Snow being used. You could probably use, see it and use it, but... Obama Snow, with the bunch, with fighters and flyers running around, I don't know if Obama Snow is going to be super effective. At the same time, it's really dangerous. And the one shield, you beat Wigglytuff, you beat Swampert, you beat so much of the meta! Do I even need to say anything? Seriously. Look how powerful it is. It beats a majority of things in the one shield. The only things you lose against are Whimsicott, Tropius. That's Razor Leaf Tropius, by the way. Some of the Charmers, which it... Well, actually, you beat Wigglytuff. Magnezone, Gloom, Shadow Victory Bell, and Shadow Skarmory. And you beat Scar... You even beat Skarmory. So as long as... If you have the Ice Beam player... If you can... If you have Hydro Pump, you beat Skarmory. You beat a majority... You beat a, such a huge amount of matchups. It's ridiculous. Only losing to, like I said, Shadow Victory Bell. Anything that chunks you... And against, depending on which moveset you have, that's really just it. Which moveset do you have? Tropius and Rome's Con. By the way, you can see Razor Leaf Tropius here. I force, in the countries where you can catch Tropius, I foresee people being crazy enough to power one up and using it for this league just to get an advantage. Plus with Razor Leaf, it's a monster. So you that's something you have to watch out for too. In the Zero Shield, things get even more dicier. Well, in the 0 0, Ozu still runs this town. Look at it. Ozu has such positive matchups against a lot of things. Against, uh, like I said, this is where you'll lose against Wigglytuff just because it can line a charge move on you. But even then, that's not like with Hydro Pump. Look how close that matchup is. It's super close. You lose against Skarmory. You'll lose against Wivencott, Tropius, and uh, and Ferrothorn, etc. You'll beat Shadow Skarmory. You can, you'll can you beat Shadow Victory Bell in the closer as long as you have Ice Beam because Ice Beam will KO this Shadow Victory Bell. Of course, if you're running, if you're running, if you are running Ice Beam, you die. It's that simple. In the one shield, Ozzy goes to town. Ozu goes to town. It totally goes to town. Except for Gloom, Shadow, and for Ferrothorn. So you beat 2 out of 37. Unless it's a Ferrothorn or a Shadow Gloom. Which I think you still beat Shadow Gloom anyways. As long as you Ice Beam it. And up 2 shields. This thing is unstoppable. Except for Shadow Gloom. <laughs> Except for Shadow Gloom. I don't... I the, Okay, you're not gonna... I don't... For, well, you probably can find a Shadow Gloom and power it up, but if you're crazy enough to power one up, I wouldn't be too worried about the Shadow Gloom. Other than that, you beat everything but Ferrothorn and Shadow Gloom. Unless it's Shadow... Unless you're running, you don't run Ice Beam, then it gets dangerous. But you beat a majority of the meta. Except for, like, really rare Grass Picks and Shadow... And Ferrothorn. Now, up Shield Advantage. Of course, uh, with a Shield, Ozu is still a beast. You only lose against Shadow Victory Bell, Vileplume, Ferrothorn... Shadow Gloom, Magnezone in the twos, Whimsicott, Tropius, and Obama Snow. So basically just grass types. So that's Azumarill in a nutshell. Azumarill is insanely powerful for this meta. It's not completely amazing. It's not completely like unstoppable, but still against the majority of the meta, it's still really good, especially for the catch cup. Because if you're crazy enough to power one of these up just for this cup, then you're going to have a huge advantage over everyone else in the meta. And for that reason, I give Azumarill a 9 out of 10. Were you really surprised? <laughs> a 9 out of 10 for an Azumarill. Because the fact of the matter is, this thing is one of the most powerful things in the meta. And in a meta where mythicals aren't allowed, and it's not likely you're going to run into any opposing legendaries, Azumarill is going to run wild in this cup. Yes, I can foresee a po I can foresee those using it, and I can foresee people powering one up to crit. Yeah, I can. Someone's gonna be crazy enough to power one up, and at the same time, Spoovers can literally just pick this thing off the street and then power it up if they want to. So that's the problem. I don't give it a ten out of ten because there are checks against it, but those checks are rare. 
Does that make sense? You're, I don't foresee everyone having a Shadow Victory. If you are crazy enough to build a Shadow Victory Bell for the Cat Cup, you're just trying way too hard. Because you should be rank 10 already. But other than that, Azumarill is going to run this meta. Azumarill is going to run over a lot of the meta. It's Like I said, it's not completely unstoppable. But still, it's so oppressive that I'd say 99% of the meta isn't going to be able to take down Azumarill. And... That's it, you guys. I'm not going to do a longer analysis because you you already know how strong. You, it's either you've used this thing or you've died to this thing, so you know its power. I have no reason to hype it up, but in a condensed meta for the Catch Cup, unfortunately, Azu will run... Will, Azu, if you have one, it can run rampant. The only con about this thing is, one, it's stupid hard to find, and at the same time, it takes a lot of Stardust to power up. However, you do have one, you're going to be very comfortable for the Catch Cup. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more catch up content in the future, and hopefully, if you do catch this one, really, if you really want to win, use Azumarill for the catch cup, and you will have a huge advantage over a majority of the meta. I'll see you guys on the next video.